Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 8, lesson 3, simplest form. Page number is 563. Guys, all of you know that uh, how we make convert a fraction into its simplest form, we divide it we divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number up and down until we can divide right like here it's 12 over 22 so we find that we can divide it by 2 up and 2 down so we divide it so 12 divide 2 6 and 22 divide 2 11 now is there anything we can divide this 6 by 3 by 2 right but we cannot divide it here so we will not divide we must divide the same number up and down the same number with the numerator and the denominator okay there is one information that a fraction is written in simplest form when the GCF of the numerator and the denominator is 1 how you will make sure that the fraction is in the simplest form now? The GCF of the numerator and the denominator will become 1. See this guys. Without converting it into simplest form, 12 over 22. When we find the GCF of 12 and 22, you can see the last lesson. Uh, how to find the GCF. Okay, my last video, it was about it. When we find the GCF of 12 and 22, we get 2. 2 is the greatest common factor, 2. But when you simplify it and find the GCF of 6 and 11, uh, the factors for 6, 1 times 2, 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. So 1, 2, 3 and 6. For 11, only 1 and 11. So only 1 is the common one. So the greatest common factor of 6 and 11 is 1. So if a fraction is in its simplest form and you find its greatest common factor, you will always get 1. Okay. And the simplest form of a fraction is one of its many equivalent fractions. You see guys, when you convert a fraction into simplest form, still it is equal to the actual fraction. Like here, this is 12 over 22. Total parts are 22, and out of 22, 12 are shaded. When you convert it, you see now, total parts are 11, and out of 11, only 6 are shaded. If you see, the shaded area is still same in both figures. Okay, let's move to the next page. So keep th this thing in mind, guys, that whenever you find the greatest common factor of the simplest form of a fraction you will always find it one okay see this now boys 18 over 30 I want to make it simplest form now I know that I can divide it by 2 I can divide it by 3 I can divide it by 6 if I divide it by 6 directly, I don't need to do this much long process. What they did, first they divided by 2, 18 divided by 2, 9, 30 divided by 2, 15. Still, we find that it is not in the simplest form. So we divide it one more time, 9 divided by 3 and 15 divided by 3. Okay. And then we get 3 over 5. Instead of doing all this, you can directly divide by 6, the greatest common factor, okay? 18 divide 6, 3, and 30 divide 6, 5. So you'll get 3 over 5. This way is also correct. But instead of choosing a long way, you can directly divide by the greatest common factor, the greatest one with which you can divide. Okay, this one now here. 4 over 6, they divide by 2 up and 2 down. So, 4 divide 2, 2, and 6 divide 2, 
free. And similarly, this question number 2, 2 over 12, we can divide by 2, so 1 over 6. Here, on the next page, guys, independent practice, try to solve all these questions by yourself, and then match your answers through this video. Uh, here these are the unknown numbers like M so you will see from the denominator how they get the denominator divide by what like divide by 4 here so 8 divide 4 2 the table shows the results of a survey about favorite movie creator snacks Write a fraction in simplest form that compare the number of people who choose popcorns to the total number of people served. So the number of people choose popcorns are 24. And the total number of people, you have to add all of them. Okay, if you add all of them, that is 60. To simplify the greatest common number, uh, factor for 24 and 60 is 12 so it is equal to this is 1 guys divide. so it's equal to 12 divide, 24 divide 12 2 and 5 2 over 5 Kara buys 24 bagels, 10 are whole wide. So 10 over 24, divide by 2, 5 over 12. Circle the fraction that is not in simplest form. This one, you can divide it by 3. Does dividing the numerator and denominator by a common factor guarantee that the result will be in simplest form? No. Not by a common factor. By the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor must be used to guarantee that the fraction will be in simplest form. I hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Learn math with Mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day.